amazing people, we just had our first birthday! So we decided to make a birthday gift for you and we created this tiered frill skirt pattern, such a complicated name. And you can find it in our website and download it completely for free. It is a beginner friendly project and this skirt is an elasticated waist. Also, my favorite part about this pattern is that you don't have to make them in the midi length. You can simply skip the two lowest panels and you will get a flouncy mini skirt. I use the cotton that holds the shape very well. You can also try to make this skirt from linen or maybe even viscose or silk that doesn't drape too much. A matching thread. Also an elastic band which is 3 cm wide. And the sewing pattern. You can find the link down in the description. I will use a sewing machine and a serger for neatening the seams. But you can also neaten the seams with sewing machine zigzag stitch. Now let's cut out all the details. You can find the recommended pattern layout in our PDF tutorial file. I am folding this fabric so much because I didn't have it a lot and I was thinking that maybe if I fold it smartly enough I will be able to make also shorts later. I highly recommend to cut small notches at the middle points of each detail. This will later help you to match the details so much more easier. Lay the according skirt back panels with front panels right sides facing. Pin the side seams. Be careful not to mistake the panels. The first panels go together, the second panels go together and so on. Now let's stitch the side seams. Remember to use a backstitch when starting and finishing the seam. Now let's neaten the side seams. If you are using a serger, you can neaten both layers together. But if you are using a zigzag stitch, I suggest to neaten each layer separately. If you neaten the both layers together, then press the seam towards the back. But if you knit on it separately, then press the seam open. And now let's do the same steps with the frill panels. Lay back frill panels with front frill panels right sides facing. And pin the side seams. Stitch the side seams. Neaten the side seams. This time, if you neaten both layers together, then press the seams towards the front. If you neaten the both layers separately, then press them open. Since it is so convenient right now, I will be hemming the frills already. I will be using a double folded hem. 
simply fold one centimeter one time and then fold one more centimeter again. And stitch along the edge. Do this step for all four wheels. Now let's press the hem. And now when we have prepared the frills, we can start gathering. Set the sewing machine stitch on number 4 or even higher. You will have to make 2 stitches along the row edge. It is important to leave long tails of thread at the beginning and at the end of the stitch. Also, do not backstitch at all. The second stitch should be approximately 2 to 3 millimeters higher than the first stitch. Do this step with all four frill panels. Take the first skirt panel and turn it so the right side is towards outside. Take the first frill panel. Take threads from the wrong side of the fabric and pull threads from both ends and gather the fabric. Put the first skirt panel inside the first frill panel with right sides facing. Pin the gathered edge to the first panel's lower edge. I suggest to start by matching the side seams. Then match the notches at the middle. Now you can perfectly adjust the gathering to the necessary length and finish with pinning around. Try to make the gathering as even as possible. Now take the second skirt panel and join its upper edge with the gathered edge. The right side of the second skirt panel is facing the wrong side of the gathered panel. Now pin around by matching the side seams and the notches at the middle. Sew around. I suggest to take out the pins while you are stitching because if you are stitching over the pins it might break the sewing machine's needle. This is how it should look like. Now neaten all three layers together.
By the way, this is my favorite trick how to hide the serger seam. I use a tapestry needle with a big eye and then I simply hide the loose ends of the serger inside the seam. This way I am sure that it will not unravel. Now I will be top stitching the seam we just made. Actually this step isn't mandatory, however I will be doing it because after washing it will be easier to press the seam and it's always a bit complex to iron the parts where the fabric is gathered. So there are two options, you can top stitch the seam upwards or you can also top stitch the seam downwards. If you choose the second option, the top stitching seam will not be visible because it will be hidden under the frill. And it will also make the frill look more fluffy. This time I chose to top stitch the seam upwards because I felt that these frills are already dramatic enough and that's why I didn't want them to be more fluffy. And here you can see that the seam is nicely secured in place. Now I am going to do exactly the same steps as previously, but this time I am taking the second real block and I am gathering it. Then I match the right side of the frill to the second skirt panel's right side. Pin at the side seams, at the notches and adjust the gathering. Now I am taking the third skirt panel. The upper edge of the third skirt panel has to match the gathered edge of the frill. And sew around. Don't forget to serge the seam. Let's top stitch again in whichever direction you chose before. If you want a mini skirt, you can stop working on the frills at this moment and start working on the elastic waistband. If you do want a midi length, then simply repeat the exact same steps for the third and fourth frill panels. Lay the waistband pieces together with the right sides facing. Pin the side seams and stitch. Press the seam allowances open. Fold the waistband in half and press it around. Lay the shortest sides of the elastic band on top of each other to make a flat seam. Stitch it with the sewing machine. I will be using a zigzag stitch, however you can use a simple straight stitch and go back and forth. Now put the elastic band inside the waistband. Since the elastic band is shorter than the waistband, I suggest to secure the elastic band inside by stitching around the raw edge approximately 4 mm apart. Use a simple straight stitch. Even out the gathering simply by stretching out the waistband. Lay the waistband right side with the skirt's right side. 
match the waistband side seams with the skirt side seams as well as the notches at the middle. Now sew around. When sewing, stretch the waistband detail so the length will match the length of the skirt open edge. After you have sewn on the waistband, knit and the seam. And again, I will be hiding the loose ends of the serger seam inside the seam. Press the seam downwards. And the last step we need to do is hemming. Let's use the double folded hem again. Fold one centimeter and fold one centimeter again. And stitch around the edge. There is one small optional step I will do. Since the front and back panels of the skirt aren't exactly the same, I will use a pink ribbon to mark where the back part of the skirt is. In this way, I will not end up wearing the skirt backwards. Now give the final press if you need to, and that's it, we have finished. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel for more sewing tutorials. Bye!